Are black holes as we know them actually something entirely different? Let's explore the intriguing concept of gravistars. Traditionally, black holes are thought to contain singularities, points where, under the immense pressure and density, the laws of physics as we know them simply break down. These regions are of infinitely high density, and are considered one of the universe's great mysteries. But what if I told you there's a new theory on the block? Enter gravistars. These theoretical objects are filled with dark energy, the mysterious force behind the universe's accelerated expansion. Unlike black holes, gravistars do not harbor singularities. This means they do not defy the laws of physics in the shocking ways black holes do. The concept of black holes dates back to 1915, predicted by Carl Schwarzschild using Einstein's general theory of relativity. However, the singularity at a black hole's center presents a significant paradox. It's a point where general relativity and quantum mechanics clash, unresolved. This is where gravistars come into play. Suggested as a solution to this paradox, gravistars might represent a more accurate model for these enigmatic cosmic objects. They could potentially rewrite our cosmic rulebooks and provide a new avenue for understanding the universe's most extreme environments. So, what do you think? Are we on the brink of a major shift in how we perceive the cosmos? Only time and more research will tell. But for now, the universe just got a little bit more mysterious. As we dive deeper into the mysterious realm of gravistars, one significant question arises, how can we test or observe these theoretical objects? Let's explore two promising methods. First, let's talk about accretion disks. These are swirling regions of matter that orbit compact objects like black holes. Recent research has analyzed thin-shell gravistars surrounded by optically thin accretion disks. The findings are fascinating. Smooth gravistar configurations, due to the absence of strong gravitational redshift effects, cannot reproduce the characteristic shadow observations seen in black holes when internal emission is assumed. This indicates that smooth gravistars are unlikely candidates for the supermassive objects found in galactic cores. However, thin-shell gravistars, with a significant portion of their total mass allocated at the surface, could produce similar shadow effects, making them potential black hole mimickers. Observations of these accretion disks could exclude certain gravistar models as supermassive objects, while others might mimic black holes. Next, we turn our attention to hotspot orbits. Hotspots are localized regions of intense energy emission. Researchers have also studied gravistars orbited by these hotspots. In comparison with other ultra-compact objects such as fluid stars and bosonic stars, ultra-compact gravistars exhibit astrometrical observational properties that closely resemble these objects. Additionally, for low-compacticity configurations, time-integrated fluxes show high-intensity plunges through images which distinguish gravistars from black hole spacetimes. These qualitative differences in observational properties could potentially be detected by the next generation of interferometric experiments in gravitational physics. So, as we continue to explore the universe, these innovative methods may bring us closer to confirming the existence of gravistars, thereby reshaping our understanding of cosmic phenomena. The quest for knowledge continues, and the mysteries of the universe await our discovery. Accretion disks are fascinating astronomical structures that play a crucial role in the dynamics of various cosmic systems. Here's a more detailed look into what they are and their significance. Definition An accretion disk is a structure formed by diffused material in orbital motion around a massive central body, such as a star, black hole, or planet. Formation These disks arise when material with angular momentum spirals inward towards the central object. The material can't fall directly onto the object due to its rotational motion, so it forms a disk as it loses energy and angular momentum. Physics The material in the disk experiences friction and other forces, which cause it to heat up and emit electromagnetic radiation. The frequency of this radiation depends on the mass of the central object. For instance, disks around young stars emit in the infrared, while those around neutron stars and black holes emit in the X-ray spectrum. Discoseismology this is the study of oscillation modes in accretion disks, which can provide insights into the physical conditions within the disk. Astrophysical jets. Accretion disks are often associated with astrophysical jets, which are streams of matter ejected along the polar axes of the central object. These jets help the system shed angular momentum and are a topic of ongoing research due to their complex nature. Role in the universe accretion disks are involved in a wide range of phenomena from the formation of stars and planets to the emissions from quasars and active galactic nuclei. 
They are also thought to be the engines behind gamma-ray bursts and are key to understanding X-ray binaries. In essence, accretion disks are not just spectacular to observe, but they also provide a window into the processes that govern the evolution of celestial bodies and the universe at large. Astrophysical jets are one of the most dramatic and energetic phenomena in the universe. Here's a detailed exploration of their nature and significance. Nature of Astrophysical Jets Astrophysical jets are streams of ionized matter that are ejected from the vicinity of a central object, such as a black hole, neutron star, or young stellar object. These jets consist of particles like electrons and protons, as well as electromagnetic fields. The matter in these jets can be accelerated to speeds close to the speed of light, making some astrophysical jets relativistic jets. Formation and Mechanism Jets are often associated with accretion disks, where material spirals into a central object. The interaction within these disks, particularly magnetic fields, is thought to play a role in jet formation. The rotational energy of the central object, such as a black hole, is believed to be a significant source of energy for these jets. In the case of black holes, a general relativity effect known as frame dragging may contribute to the alignment and propulsion of the jets. Scale and impact astrophysical jets can extend over vast distances, sometimes spanning millions of parsecs. They can have a significant impact on their surroundings, transferring energy and momentum to the interstellar medium. Jets are observed in various astronomical objects, including active galactic nuclei, AGN, quasars, radio galaxies, and more. Research and observation studying astrophysical jets is challenging due to their immense scales and the extreme conditions under which they form. Astronomers use a combination of radio, optical, and X-ray observations to study jets. The Hubble Space Telescope, for instance, has provided detailed images of jets emanating from elliptical galaxy M87. Various models attempt to explain jet formation, structure, and evolution, incorporating complex physics such as magnetohydrodynamics and relativistic effects. Astrophysical jets continue to be a subject of intense study as they offer insights into the processes occurring in the most extreme environments in the universe.